Welcome back. It's time to get a check of your weather with meteorologist Thomas Giboy. And Thomas, of course, the All-Star Game's done. Mm -hmm. I think everything's going to be calm, but no, we got a major storm heading our way. Yeah, and that major storm will be arriving tomorrow and will continue through the middle of the week. This morning, we're kind of getting a little bit of an appetizer out there this morning, mainly in northern Utah as we're tracking some light showers finding their way through the northern portion of the state. What we're mainly seeing out there is a little bit of light snow up in our mountains, and we even seen some raindrops along portions along the Wasatch Front. So if you're traveling this morning while this isn't anything too significant you might want to factor in just a little bit of time just in case but we'll take you to some of these cameras and we're seeing some of that light snow in our mountains this is the view from deer valley as snow is actively falling then as we go down to the wasatch front we'll go down to far west and you can actually see a few raindrops here on the lens and the reason why we're seeing rain down in our valleys is because the temperatures this morning along the wasatch front starting off in the mid to upper 30s but we definitely have those slick streets out there, so be cautious as you get ready to head off to work or school if you have work or school today because it is President's Day. But down in southern Utah, a completely different story. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful sunrise down in southeastern Utah in Blanding with not even a cloud in the sky. So this morning in southern Utah, all is nice and calm. The temperatures not too bad, definitely on the chilly side. We're 26 in Moab, 33 degrees in Cedar City, 33 in St. George, but in northern Utah, we got quite a big range of temperatures along the Wasatch Front, 31 degrees in Provo, but it's 40 degrees in Salt Lake and it's 37 degrees in Logan. Meanwhile, it's still very cold in the Uinta, Uinta Basin with a temperature of 11 in Vernal. But if you're going to try to take your dog for a walk, if you have a good girl like Daisy right here, Shelly will be taking Daisy for a walk. Temperature right now sitting at 40 degrees, holding on to that slight chance, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. Otherwise, by your lunch hour, temperatures will be in the lower 40s, eventually climbing into the middle 40s for those daytime highs, which is very seasonal for this time of year along the Wasatch Front. See a daytime high of 45 in Salt Lake and Logan will see a temperature in the 30s. Meanwhile, we'll top out at 48 in Cedar City and 62 degrees down in St. George. Going to be a pretty nice day across the southwest desert. But as mentioned, we got some very big changes headed our way by tomorrow. A strong winter storm system is going to be moving into the Beehive State. And from Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll spread across the state. Multiple winter storm warnings will be going into effect starting tomorrow in northern Utah. And by Wednesday, we'll have those winter storm warnings in the southern portion of the state go into effect. And some of these winter storms storm warnings will continue even through early on Thursday. And for most of our mountains, we're expecting between one to three feet of snow, four inches plus for most of our valleys, 10 inches plus for most of our mountain valleys. And we're expecting winter driving conditions and some pretty strong winds to go on top of that as well. Let's go ahead and time things out for you on the future cast eight o'clock this morning. And as we go throughout the day today in northern Utah, we're going to hold on to that slight chance for mainly light showers with that better chance up in the high country while down in southern Utah, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for today. Going into our Tuesday, things look to start off mostly calm, maybe a few light showers showers in the northernmost half of the state, but as we go from tomorrow morning into the afternoon, wet weather will be spreading across the northern portion of the state and with temperatures climbing back into the 40s along the Wasatch Front, likely going to start off as valley rain and mountain snow. But once this cold front moves through, we're expecting that changeover by tomorrow evening, even in northern Utah as wet weather starts to spread down into the southern portion of the state and on Wednesday, expecting to see scattered snow showers across the state with wraparound moisture. And honestly, I think we're going to see what more than what this particular future cast is showing. This is one of the less optimistic forecast models, while other forecast models thinking that we're going to see more or less snow as we continue throughout the day on our Wednesday. So your expected snow totals at this point, Northern Valleys looks like we're going to see between 6 and 12, including the Wasatch Front, which means by Wednesday morning, we could be talking about some pretty significant impacts out on the roadways. Benches 8 to 14, Mountain Valleys 10 to 20. Northern mountains between 12 and 36, but we could see even more for the Cottonwoods, maybe 24 to 40. Central and Southern Valleys 5 to 10. Central and Southern Mountains 12 to 24. And for St. George, could see rain, maybe upwards of three inches of snow. So there is even the chance down in St. George that we could see a changeover to straight snow with maybe minor accumulations being a possibility. So in Northern Utah, we're going to see those impacts starting earlier. And in Southern Utah, as that storm system moves in, I'm going to see some pretty strong winds, maybe gusts upwards of 65 miles per hour from tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday morning. Statewide impacts are expected starting tomorrow, while in northern Utah, we're going to start with the moisture a little bit earlier, while down in southern Utah, we're going to be talking about some pretty significant winds before that moisture arrives Tuesday night into our Wednesday. In St. George, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for today. The clouds will start to increase on Tuesday with increasing winds and the chance of rain and snow Wednesday into Thursday and holding on to active weather even possibly into the upcoming weekend. Then along the Wasatch Front, a slight chance for today a daytime high of 45 rain and snow showers transitioning to snow by tomorrow evening snow showers on our Wednesday a slight chance on Thursday then possibly keeping that slight chance for snow in the forecast even into this upcoming weekend 